Assalamu alaikum, this is Mr. Rahman, ICTTC running IGCs in Sudan. Today we are going to add PD code in your HTML file. Let's go. Okay, question number 13. Question number 13 asks you to insert video in your web, in your HTML file, HTML code. Like this video is uh, 640 pixel wide and 305, uh, 354 pixels high. Uh, containing the video clips and the name of the video and display an automated, uh, automated message. Based on error, if the browser does not support this video, you have to change the browser. We need to add this video into the HTML code. Go back now to the from page that we have. You have to know something. Many candidates try to add the video from insert, try to find video from here. Some of them try to drag and drop video here. It cannot be done. If you try to drag and drop it, it is totally wrong. You cannot have the video inside your browser. You may have the link, then it link to take the video, which is wrong. You've been away from the question. What you have to do now is, okay, you have to go to the code and make sure that you are doing the code within the right position. Yes, it means I'm going to go, yeah, we, we are in design now, let's go to code. Uh, you can make space to work properly. Don't worry about the space above and below. That's not a big issue. That's not a problem with the HTML code. Now, uh, you have to mention something within this code. You have to mention the video code. You have to mention the width and height and the control. You have to mention the source uh, and the source file itself, which is six. You have to mention the, the type of the video you can and you have to mention the message, which is mainly there is eight points here should be done. Okay. What we have here in these points, let's go and do it. Okay. First of all, you go open video code. Video and then open tag and close it. Remember, this is very important here. Uh, it comes the closing of tagging video comes automatically, so you have to make sure that the close will be uh, at the end of the code, at the end of the message that you give it. Just return back to the video. Then now you choose the video. You have to choose the controls and choose the width and height. You just write width. The width is. Uh, check the question and find what's going on with the width. What the width ask you? Doesn't matter which one before and one after. No problem. Which will be 640. And the from back now, you give him 640. And then you choose the height equal. Check the number. Yes, the height is. Three, five, four. I right, three, five, four. We have. So you have to put controls because you want to display the way of playing video, moving forward, moving back, stop the video. That's what I mean by controls. Controls. Now we have the first line of the video. The students decide to do a speech mark on the number on the text like this. Some of them is. Uh, decide to do a speech mark. You don't have to do it. Not necessary. You don't have to do it. You just go directly now and put the source. Put the source and keep it open. SRC and then copy the fully video name here. Should be same name. Right. One dot M M B and before very important yes uh, now you can put the type of the video or not but advise you to put the video type in the source the video type is video and before but some browser may need to describe the type of the video yes some browsers they don't and then close. Right. There is something here very important. I'll go to back to the question and find. The question display an, a message. Uh, error if your browser does not support this video type. 
you can give the user message here and type it before the uh, before the video tab, before the ending video tab. So our browser. The browser. Is not support video. This is a message only without speech mark, without anything. Now it's time to come now. We are going to test the video. Once you save it, no problem. But this issue, the examiner is going to check the code. He's going to marking this on the code. So you don't have to worry about the displaying video or to watch at the actual video in your browser or not. This is not that big issue because the examiner is checking this from here. And find the design. On the design, you are going to see the error message only. You are not going to see because now we are putting design within the front page, not supporting video actually inside the browser. But you want to check it. Okay, let's check this video in the browser. We go to the uh, preview in Microsoft Explorer. Find in Microsoft Explorer. Allow blocked contents. Some browser block the contents. Allow it. So now you can play the video. You see the video that, as you mentioned before, and with the controls. Uh, thank you very much. All this clear.